is real love you holding me closer and closer pulling my heart to the very end jesus i'm found in your freedom cause this is real love this is real love <laughs> just a little tag i love that song too next week i got you <laughs> my cross you bore so I could live in the freedom you died for and now my life is yours and I will sing of your goodness forevermore worthy is your name Jesus you deserve the praise Worthy is your name Worthy is your name Jesus You deserve the praise Worthy is your name And now my shame is gone Stand amazed at your love undeniable. Your grace goes on and on, and I will sing of your.
to praise Worthy is your name Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory fills this place You alone deserve our praise You're the name above all names Be exalted now in the heavens As your glory Sing that out. Hey guys, it's Mike from the Mommy Campus, and I'm super excited to come to you today as we continue in our series all about faith. You know, Pastor Phil brought us a message last week about faith to finish, and what a perfect time for that message as we are ending the school year and with COVID-19 hitting, uh, it caused us to have school in our homes and many different things. And that could have that could have uh, upset your motivation to finish. But you know, there there's a pretty awesome scripture that uh, that can pump you up for the day, that can get you jacked up. And it says, "You can do all things in Christ who strengthens you." You know, in our weakness, in our in our downtime, in in our um, thoughts of uncertainty uh in our weakness jesus's strength is shown through us and and i really love that scripture it can it can get you going for the week it can get you going for the day no matter what's going on in your world that you can do all things through christ who strengthens you you know and today i want to talk to you about faith in transition you know, a lot of things we are transitioning into. We had to transition into homeschooling. Uh, we had to transition into uh, online church and and online small group meetings through Zoom and FaceTime calls and all different things uh, transitioning. And But the fact is that we've really been transitioning all of our lives, you know, from babies to toddlers to to preteens, to to teens, and now graduating, it's we've we've been transitioning through our entire life, and the transition doesn't stop there. After 
teenage years. It transitions into adulthood, whether you're going into a career or college or, or ministry or whatever it, whatever it is, it's, there's always going to be a transition. Seniors, you're getting ready to transition into something great, leaving your school years and, and, and transitioning into adulthood. Um, something that you all pretty much say, I can't wait till I'm an adult. Well, here it is. Here it is. And, and I am super excited to hear about your transformations as, as you go forward. You know, some of you are, are getting ready to go to college or, or off to the military or start your own businesses. You know, I just want to stop right here and congratulate the class of 2020. For everything that has come against you guys this year and for not being able to have your proms or, or your spring sports or, or anything like that, I just want to congratulate you for staying in the fight and finishing, finishing out your school years so you can continue to, to grow in life. And, and you didn't focus on those things that, that could have stopped you. You, you kept your faith that you were going to finish. You know, when I think about uh, storms and stuff coming ahead and, and transitioning into something great, I think about the story when Jesus told, told the disciples to go across the Sea of Galilee. And they wanted to get to the other side, to another land. And when they got out in the middle of the water, that uh, a storm came up. And, and they became very afraid and they started looking around for Jesus. Where is he? Where is he? And Jesus came when they called out to him and, and calm the seas, calm, calm the waves, calm the storm. Now these disciples, they were steering the boat. They were, they were fishermen. They knew how to boat. They could have easily just turned around and went back to where they came from when, when the storm arose or the struggle or or this is tough this journey is tough uh, college is tough uh, finishing high school in a pandemic is tough they could have turned around and quit but they didn't they called on the one who held their faith they called on the one who who called them to greatness they called on the one for his help to continue to guide them you know, we, we get on Facebook, we get on social media and stuff, and we see we see highlight films, but and how great people's lives are. But what we don't see uh, is what's in the middle, the struggle they had to go to, to to build that awesome family, the struggles they had to go through to build that amazing business. We don't see that middle. And I want to tell you teens right now, I want to tell you seniors right now that, that when the time is tough, reach out to Jesus, reach out to your mentors, stay, stay, stay engaged in your church, stay, stay engaged with your small group leaders, stay engaged with your mentors that, that have lived some life to, to continue to guide you through, you know, in the middle is where the blessing is. That's where it's formed. And when we get to the other side, that's where the, the blessing is shown. You know, if we turn around, we'll look back at it one day and say, man, I wish I really would have did that and start to live with regrets. And life, life is made to live without regrets. And I want to encourage you that in t today, that when you are going through the storm, when you are going through the struggle, continue to press on through. You know, Jesus says that uh, he makes the path straight. He makes the crooked path straight. That he is your way maker. That he's your light in the darkness. That he is there with you. That he will not forsake you. You know, before you were born, he put a purpose in your life, a plan for your life. And, and faith, that's what it does. Faith in Jesus will continue to see that his promises are true and they will not fail. You know, uh, I've been watching for the last few weeks, uh, The Last Dance. And for you, those of you that don't know what that is, it's uh, about 
one of the greatest uh, basketball players of all time, uh, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls team. And they were going into that 1990 season um, with the knowledge and knowing that their coach wasn't coming back and the possibility of all of them not coming back. Michael, Scotty, Dennis Rodman, Steve Kerr, whoever else was on that team. You know, and one of the statements was that by the general manager that even if they went 82-0, and 0, Phil Jackson wasn't coming back. Knowing that, going into the season, they could have completely quit. They could have walked away from the game, but they didn't. And as you see, going through that series, they continued the fight, and ultimately they ended up winning their second three-peat, their sixth championship. And what I liked about what I liked about some of the things Michael Jordan said at the end was he said to Phil Jackson, Phil asked him, man, I can't believe this. And, and Michael says to him, you had to have faith. You had to have faith in what, what you said was going to take place. You know, here at Cornerstone Church, we talk about our audacious faith, our faith that we believe, we dare to believe what God says that what he's going to do is going to happen. And I pray that you get some audacious faith today that what you're set out to do in your next journey of life, in your transformation, that it's going to happen. You know, I want to challenge you to to put that on a sticky note or something that you want to be a business owner or a ministry leader or or a nurse or fireman or whatever it is that you put that up there remember life is a journey it's a marathon it's a not it's not a sprint bumps are going to come along the way you know and as i was continuing to watch that series towards the end uh, it, it's a locker room scene and um mj and scotty pippen are sitting next to each other and they have the trophy and mj says to scotty the only way they can beat us is if we quit. You know, with that being said, that is the only way that your your plan for your life will ever be defeated is if you quit. Remember, tough times don't last. Tough people do. And these, these transformation times, these storms, these struggles that come your way, they're not meant to hurt you. They're meant to strengthen you. So in closing, I'd like to say to you, stay connected to your church. You know, no matter where your travels go, if you're off to college, the military or whatever, you always have a home here at Cornerstone. And I'd like to encourage you to, to build some people around you as you travel. You know, the Bible says iron sharpens iron. I encourage you not to go through your journey of transformation alone. I encourage you to pick up some mentors that have lived some life, some some godly mentors in your life that that have went through some struggles, that have went through some pain. And, and as they stood on God's faith, as they stood on the rock and and they didn't shake from it, that they continued on their path. And ultimately, they seen what they wanted in their life come to pass. You know, one of the great ways that you can stay connected to uh, Cornerstone is through our YouTube page or our Facebook page and even our website. Um, continue to watch our online messages. Continue to reach out to someone for prayer. You know, uh, we have a great program coming up June 15th to July 30th, uh, and it's our internship program. And what a great way to build your faith. You would be surrounded by great leaders and you will learn so many different things. Uh, but mostly you will learn to build your faith through it. You know, we have media, we have music, we have, you can learn how to be a minister in our children's department or in our teens. Um, it's, and you will definitely be surrounded by some awesome people of great faith. So I encourage you today to uh, 
Get on cornerstone.church backslash internship and fill out the application to uh, join our internship this summer. It's June 15th to July 30th. Teens, before we get out of here, I just want to, um, I want you to continue the discussion on, on transformation in faith. You know, COVID-19 hit and it shook a lot of people. But there's a silver lining in the COVID-19. And what, I, and what I want you to do to continue discussion is find the one thing, one good thing that happened in COVID-19 and how it strengthened your faith. I want you to build on that. I want you to grow on that. And I want you to use that as your fuel, as your testimony to move to the next stage in your life. God's a miracle worker. He's by your side. He'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. He's for you. No weapon formed against you will prosper. He has great plans for your life. Once again, seniors, congratulations. Congratulations on graduating class of 2020. So awesome. And I cannot wait to hear your stories. Guys, as always, I love you. I miss you. Continue to pray for everyone who are on the front lines protecting us every day. Continue to pray for our church leaders as, as they continue to lead us through that pandemic. Until next time, I love you guys. See you soon.